Hi everyone and welcome to episode 1 in everything you need to know about tenses. In this video, you will learn all about the simple present tense, when to use it, how to form affirmative, negative and interrogative sentences, and some of the clue words that are used with the simple present tense. We use the simple present tense to talk about facts, to talk about actions that happen regularly, to describe a permanent situation, to give directions and instructions, and also to talk about something that is fixed in the future. For example, the water boils at 100 degrees. This is a fact. The train leaves at 4. This is something that is fixed in the future and that is why I use the simple present tense. I always wake up early. This is an action that happens regularly. She lives with her parents. This is an example of a permanent situation. And clean your room. This is an instruction and that is why I use the simple present tense in all these sentences. Well, now that you know the uses of the simple present tense, let's see how to form an affirmative sentence. We are just going to use the base form of the verb. For example, I work as a teacher. They live in Italy. We travel to Cairo every summer. Look at the verbs. Work, live, travel. Well, I will make the right side of the screen for sentences with singular subject, third person singular, he, she, et, or their equivalent. And we're going to add S to the verb if the subject is singular. For example, she works as a teacher. My friend lives in Italy. He travels to Cairo every summer. I added S to the verbs work, live, and travel. Well, sometimes you have to add ES instead of S, and that is when the verb ends in any of the following. For example, go, goes. Children go to school every day. He goes to school every day. Wash becomes washes. Now, let's see how to form a negative sentence. Just add don't or doesn't before the verb. And I think now it's clear when to add don't and when to add doesn't because doesn't here is in the right side of the screen and that is with singular subjects or third person singular he, she, et. I eat shrimp. To change that sentence into a negative sentence, I don't eat shrimp. What about my kid? My kid eats shrimp. But to change it to a negative one, my kid doesn't eat shrimp. Well, how about forming questions? You will add do or does before the sentence. Do, subject, and then the verb. Do you watch movies? Does your sister watch movies? Questions that start with where, when, or what are followed by do or does, subject, and then the verb. Where do they live? When does the train leave? When do you travel? Where does he work? Now it is your turn to write affirmative, interrogative, and negative sentences. And here are some of the clue words that are used with the simple present tense. That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe and watch this playlist. And I will see you in episode 2.